Nate. Turner in motion. Rolling, Joseph, feeling the heat now. Will dance out of the pocket. Look for the first down yardage to the 41. He has it and steps out of bounds. And a flag thrown. Well, there should be because it was a late hit and Joseph eventually went down on the bench area over there. He just told us it's going to be a hard-hitting game. You better be ready for it. Even on the sidelines, I guess. <laughs> you know, Osborne criticized Joseph after the Minnesota game for freelancing too much. Nebraska won that game 55 to nothing, and he still got a lot of trouble, and he's not getting up. Oklahoma players continue to come by and express their best wishes. You see Irvin. Greg Irvin, the wide receiver. Let's go down and get another report from John Dockery. You know, Jim, it was fairly gruesome because when they picked Mickey Joseph up to take him off, as they're doing right now, there was blood on the turf, and they're just washing it off right now. And that would suggest, though certainly not a medical man, that that's a bad break, but there was blood on the turf when they lifted Mickey Joseph up. I'll keep following the story and get back to you. As they continue to pump and inflate, the cast on Joseph's leg. We could see him midway first quarter, no score. On the draw, it's Brewer going out of bounds at the seventh to the orange bowl. Scott Baldwin in the game. Play action fake the Baldwin and the pass on the turf to Johnny Mitchell. Everyone's looking around pursuing and taking them down. They run through the football extremely well, and you have to against this offense. Left-footed booter Greg Barrios will attempt the 30-yarder. This will give him the school kick-scoring record if he makes it. Barrios from 30. Has the angle on it. It's good. He just surpassed Rich Sanger from back in the early 70s as the all-time leading kick scorer in Cornhusker history. bit showing blitz here they come gundy almost loses his footing now will break free and has the first down easily should be a flag there hitting him out of bounds and here it comes a whole sea of yellow coming in there and eight confirms exactly what he had told us williams fumbling the football and recovered by the nebraska defense Nebraska 3, Oklahoma nothing, and we'll return to Owen Field after this message and a word from your local station. Right. McKinley and Brewer, the two backs, Taylor in motion, third and four. Short side of the field, they'll run it. Brewer has the first down. Look at him go past the 40. And near midfield before Bird bumps him out. Mike McKinley, the fullback, gave him a clearing block outside, outside linebacker. Second down, 10. Gundy, short drop, great protection, going long for Cooper, and touchdown, Oklahoma! former defensive end they moved him over third and five Grant whoa what a hit on Turner oh Reggie Barnes they may call that a completion and a fumble I don't know how they could call it a completion it happened so quickly it looked like it was there and gone but what a knock by Barnes it is it's Oklahoma football Oklahoma football at the 13. This will count as a reception and then a jarring fumble. He took two steps with the football, so it's a good call, but oh, what a hit by Reggie Barnes. Frank Blevins scooped up the football, and Oklahoma is set up at the 13. This will put your eyeballs in your forehead. Watch this. Bang! Receiver never even had a chance to look around. Turner, we told you his head would be on a swivel when he comes around that middle. Number one. Second and goal, Gundy keeps, and Gundy does not score. 
At least not yet. There it is. Yes, he does. Squirming at the bottom of the pile and getting it across. Third and ten. Grant with pressure is picked off by Bowden. Him as a down player, where he just looks into the nose guard, you just saw him there and get hand signals. Second and 13. Gundy takes a hit after releasing this one. Ball is up for grabs. It may have been caught by Cooper. A jump ball and a catch by Oklahoma inside the 10. Out from Kale Gundy. McKinley. McKinley driving and scoring for Oklahoma. Twenty-one to three. Gundy will just down it. Don't understand it. Well, the Huskers thoroughly beaten up in the second quarter. That's the end of the first half. A second quarter that was all Sooners. They lead it 21-3 over Nebraska. We'll be right back. <laughs>